Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about a very interesting problem, sliding window maximum. First, let us try to understand the problem statement. We are given an input array of integers of size n and a sliding window of size k. The sliding window moves from left to right in the array from the starting index till the end index. We have to find the maximum number in every window. So if you take this window for example, the maximum is 3. If you take this window, the maximum is 5. Here the maximum is 8. And in the last window, the maximum is 9. So we have to return these maximum elements uh, as the output. And if you see the output, it will have n minus k plus 1 equal to 4 here. So we have 4 windows, so we'll have 4 elements. So this is what we have to return. Now let's try to see how we can solve it. Now the brute force solution that we can think of is we can have a find max function that will take in the elements of the sliding window as input. So this function can iterate through every element of the sliding window and find the maximum. Now repeat this process for all such windows and we can find the maximum element in every window. Now what is the time complexity of such an approach? We have n minus k plus 1 windows and there are k elements in each window. So the time complexity is big O of n times k. Now can we do better than this solution? Yes, we can. So we can solve this problem in linear time using an interesting data structure called as array deck. Let's see how we can solve it using array deck. Okay. Now first let us try to understand what array deck is. So array deck is an interesting data structure because you can use it as a queue or you can use it as a stack. So let us try to understand array deck by looking at some of the methods. So ad, so this is how we initialize array deck in Java. And now ad.add first will add uh, elements to the front of the array deck. So add first will add here. Now add last will add to the end of the deck. So we'll add 20. Now add last again will add to the end of the deck. So this is 30. Peak first will look at the first element. So it will not remove it, we will get, just get the value. So peak first will give us the value at the front of the deck. Peak last will give us the value at the end of the deck. So this is 30. Now remove first will remove the front of the array deck and we obtain that value. So this element is gone now. Remove last will remove the last element in the array deck. So this is gone and it, it returns that value. So these are some of the methods, there are many more, but this is what is important. Now let's see how we can use this to solve the sliding window maximum problem. Okay, I have taken an input array, I have also marked the indexes. I have an array deck that will store the indexes and not the values. The reason is, whenever we move from one window to the next window, it's easier to discard the previous window using indexes. And this is the output that has n minus k plus 1 elements. So the idea is pretty simple. We iterate through the array from left to right. We start from index 0. So whenever we find an element that is greater than the previous elements, we just discard all the previous elements. Whenever we find a new window or move to a new window, we discard the previous window. Let's see how this works. We'll start from index 0. So i is at index 0. So when i is at index 0, we don't have any other element to compare. So we just add this the this index 0 to the array deck. Now we'll move to the next index. Now the element pointed by this index i is minus 2. Is it greater than the element pointed by this index 0, 3? No. So we cannot just discard this index 0. We have to add this index to the array deck because this can be the maximum in the new window. So we'll add 1 to the array deck. Now we'll move to the next index. Now when i is at index 2, the element pointed by index 2 is 1. Is it greater than the element pointed by index 1 minus 2? This is true. So we don't have to consider this. We can just discard the element minus 2 or the index pointed by it. So we can discard this. Can we discard 0 also? So the element pointed by 2 is 1, 1 is not greater than 3. So we cannot discard this element. 
we can but we can discard this element so we'll discard this index we'll add this index 2 now i is a 2 what is i plus 1 i plus 1 is equal to 3 so this is equal to the window size so that means we have found a window so when we have found a window we have to add the maximum in that window to the output so that is obtained by checking the value pointed by the head or the peak first in the array deck so that is 3 so this is the maximum in this window so we'll add it to the output and move to the new index now i is equal to 3 so when we are, we are in the new window now the element pointed by 3 but before that so whenever we move to the new window we have to discard the previous window right so so that can be obtained by so i is equal to 3 what is i minus k equal to so this is 3 minus 3 which is equal to 0 now is this 0 the head of the array deck yes so in that case that means that this is the index of the previous window so we can just discard this index Now, the element pointed by 3 is 5. Is it greater than the element pointed by the index 2? Yes. So, we can discard this index also. So, we'll remove this and we'll add 3. Now, we have another window here. So, whenever we have a window, we have to add the maximum in that window to the output. So, that is the element pointed by 3 is 5. So, we'll add 5 to the output. And now we'll move to the new window or new index i is equal to 4. So the element pointed by i is 8. Is this element greater than the element pointed by the previous index? So, so the element pointed by 3 is 5. So this is true. So we, we don't need this uh, index. We'll remove this and we'll add 4 to the array deck now we have found a new window again so whenever we find a new window we want to add, add it to the output right so the element pointed by this peak so that is peak first whatever it is so that that is equal to 8 so and then we'll move to the next index now the element pointed by this index 5 is it greater than the element pointed by the previous index so 9 is greater than 8 so we don't need this index we'll remove it and we'll add the new index 5 so we have another window now so whenever we have a new window we'll add the output pointed by the peak peak first in the array deck so that is equal to 9 so we've reached the end of the array and this is the expected output. Now let's see how the code looks.